I'd love to open the floor up at this point to questions. First off, thanks Ash for hosting this. This is awesome, really helpful information. When clients ask like for certain information, um, when they ask for just generally more information about what you do, what would you recommend sending over? A personalized deck of three to five slides is ideal, but obviously okay. that's a lot of work. And you may have a sales deck and maybe there's two or three slides that you can customize to their branding and use case. Most yep. of the time though, you would send a one pager. In the cold outreach template that you shared, uh, you had mentioned uh, offering these people possibly a seat on the board and an equity. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, when they ask, you know, what is your criteria and what do they have to do to qualify for those kinds of goodies? Uh, how do you approach that? Uh, definitely not asking them to join um, the actual board of the company. It's, the, it's what we call the customer advisory board, which is a fancy name for a glorified sales lead. In terms of actual incentives that you offer, the main thing you're offering really is the opportunity to put it on their LinkedIn, to um, say that they're an advisor to this cool startup. Now, if you struggle to get people interested in that, then you might offer a very small number of shares and on the blog post, uh, Ash Rust, how to incentivize your first sales leads, you can find a template on there where you can use it even before you have a stock options plan in place where you can give people a very small amount. Is it your recommendation in while doing this to also keep your outreach templates pretty consistent or near identical in that process to not ruin any type of A-B testing or does that not matter? No, I'd say that you want to maybe do 75% of what's working or what you think is working and then 25% testing because with outreach, it never lasts. You always have to be testing on the raw outreach side, uh, but we want to spend the majority of our time on what we think is working. I had the experience of using some automation tools and email outreach that uh, significantly dropped the response rate. Uh, I, I'm wondering if you've had that kind of similar experience. Uh, I do not recommend using tools. If you want to automate it, then use the JavaScript backend of Google Apps. So there's, it's called AppScript. It's basically a JavaScript derivative. And what I would do is I'd put things like my email list in a spreadsheet along with the email that I want to send. And then I would have the JavaScript create a draft in my inbox. So that way I had to go in and click send and that way it was a real email. Because if you use any software to send these emails en masse, then on the other side, there's an inbox piece of software that is designed to stop that, right? Literally to try and redirect it. So you're in this kind of weird battle. On the other side of that, if it's a personal email, the inbox software is designed to put you front and center. Right now we have a, a couple of very young customers and the question is because we are, I mean, we agree that the best way is to ask for referrals. When is the best time to do that? A happy customer is hard to define. I, I understand that. What you might want to do though is ask them maybe for a metric of like how likely they are to refer you. So the NPS survey, you say, out of 10, how likely would you be to refer us to someone that you know? If they say, oh, 10 out of 10, it was like, well, tell us who you think you should refer us to. The other time is reliance. If you can see that someone is using your product every day, you know that you are solving the problem for them and you're communicating with them regularly, then you're in a position to ask for that, right? They need you, they're going to be helpful. My question was at what point should a company start looking into investing in their presence on? Cap technology to like, do you have to wait to have a few marquee clients who have given you their views? Or? The time to do that is when you hire someone on the marketing side. Oftentimes, founders have like a pet place where they want the reviews to be perfect. So maybe you've picked a, pe a place or two where you're pushing in advance of that. But usually, once you get to seven or eight people and you're hiring a dedicated marketing person, that person will be very sensitive to those kinds of. Um, environments and those kinds of, of, of websites because they know that they, they come up high in Google results. They know that's where procurement uh, people are searching. Well, thank you all for being here. I really, really appreciate it. What a great session, some great questions. With that, I will say goodbye. Thank you everyone for being here.